Hello everyone. Do you want to see some of my favorite everyday lip colors? Because I am sure as heck excited to talk about them. Quick disclaimer, this video was inspired by Judy. She did a video like this very recently. I thought it was a fantastic idea. And so I figured why not pick out some of my favorite like everyday appropriate lipsticks and talk about them on camera to you guys. So most of these are still available. There is one that is not, it is part of a discontinued collection from ColourPop. But if you have it, maybe this is a good reminder to take it out of your collection and use it. Now I don't wanna make this intro too long. So without further ado, let's get into the lipsticks. I'm gonna start with the bullet lipsticks first and then afterwards go into the liquid lipsticks. So let's go. So the first of the bullet lipsticks is the only one that is no longer available. This is the Luxe Liquid Lipstick in the shade Ariel from ColourPop. This was part of their Disney Princess designer collection, the very first one that they came out with, the with the It's a Princess Thing palette. It's a beautiful kind of like orangey brown color. Like it's a neutral, but it leans more towards like an orange brown. Like it's very, very subtle, but I love this color so, so much. Originally, I thought that this was very similar to the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk, but that one is a little bit more pink, while this one leans a little bit more orange. And again, this one is unfortunately no longer available, but if you have it, consider this a reminder to maybe pull it out of your collection and use it every once in a while, because it's a great everyday look color. The next one I wanted to talk about is not cruelty free, but I bought it when the company was still considered cruelty free. And that's the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. This is the Revolution Matte formula, I believe. It's like the original, original Pillow Talk. It's not like the medium or the dark. This is the original, original Pillow Talk color. It's like a mauve -y kind of pink color. It's very beautiful. It almost matches my lips perfectly, which is exactly what I want, like a, a your lips but better sort of look. It absolutely like is one of those lipsticks that I think fits everybody. Like somehow everyone is able to pull this color off, whether it's like the medium or the dark version of this color, but it's just, it's just a beautiful color. I love it so, so much and it smells really good. The next two are probably my favorite of my bullet lipsticks. I, mm, I can't get enough of these two. The first one is the Odin's Eye Velvet Lipstick in the shade, what shade is this? Light Peach, this is the shade Light Peach what it looks like. This one is very much on the orange side. So if you don't like orange leaning lipsticks, you might not like this one. Um, it is neutral, but it's definitely like brownie orange neutral. The bullet smells like Skittles. So that's a plus. The design of the component is also just gorgeous. Like I love everything about this brand, their lipsticks, like these ones, they came out with a cream formula and a uh, velvet formula, which is like the more matte, plush one. I and mean, that's what this one is, is the velvet formula. There's a similar color in the cream formula. So if you prefer cream, you can also get a similar color in their cream version. But I really, really liked this velvet lipstick. The formula for this is very similar to the Lisa Eldridge, like very, very similar. The only difference I would say is that the Lisa Eldridge is a little bit more smooth to apply, but the feeling on the lips is almost exactly the same. The application is almost exactly the same. It's just, again, the Lisa Eldridge one is a little bit easier to apply. Not even easier, but it's smoother. It applies smoother, but the effect is basically the same. I wear this so often, it's just one of my go-tos for every day. It's like absolutely perfect. If you like an orangey brown neutral lipstick, then this one is a fantastic one to go with. The next one is my favorite, and that is the Lisa Eldridge Velvet Muse lipstick. This one, the component is beautiful. It doesn't smell like anything. The actual lipstick itself, like if you can see it there, it looks like velvet. Like the outside of the actual lipstick looks like velvet, like to the point where sometimes I didn't, I don't even want to use it because I know that that's going to go away. It's going to wear off, but it's it's just a beautiful, beautiful lipstick. And it's such a versatile lipstick as well. Like you can wear it like full color or you can wear it and blur out the, the sides of your lips for like a more soft look. It's a darker sort of mauvey pink color. Just beautiful, just absolutely beautiful. I cannot sing this lipstick's praises enough. And it's not drying on the lips either. Like you put it on and it still feels soft like it still feels like you can push your lips together and it's not like dry you know i have nothing but good things to say about this lipstick it's just so beautiful it's worth every penny that i paid for it and i want i want more of them i, I do really want more of these lipsticks but this color specifically the velvet muse um if you want something that's a little bit more on the warm side um the velvet affair i've heard is very different but this one has a more pink undertone while that one has a bit more of an orange undertone but yes this one's like a rosy sort of 
pink. The way that she describes it on her website is just like, so interesting like the descriptions for each one of her lipsticks is like you look at it and it's like that's exactly what it is like to a t like uncannily specific but it fits if you have like five minutes i would recommend going checking her website to see just how just to see like how specific she gets with the descriptions of her lipstick colors because looking at this it's exactly what is described on the website like absolutely exactly what is described but it's beautiful i really love this lipstick it's my favorite bullet lipstick that i own they're very expensive and they only restock them once a year but if you can get your hands on this i would absolutely recommend it it's also just really um satisfying to like take the lid off and put it on because it's like all magnetic oof i love it now moving into the liquid lipsticks we have a few more from ColourPop. Um, and this is in their Lux Liquid Lip Formula, which I absolutely love. It's very plush, it's very soft, and the colors are just lovely, the ones that I picked out here. We have two from their Dark Blooms collection, which was, I believe, a fall release. It came with like the ornate and the Baroque and the um, Grandeur palettes, like the ones with the really beautiful flower paintings all over them. Um, but there's two of the lipsticks in that lineup that I really love. First one is Ingenue, which is the lighter of the two that I picked out. It's my lips, but just a little bit lighter. Like it's not quite like blending into my skin light, but it is light enough that on those days where I want a very subtle lip look, this is usually what I'll go for. This one specifically is a little bit more on the cool side. The texture and the formulation is very similar to the Lip Souffle from Rare Beauty, which is my favorite lip formula. I absolutely love that lip formula. It's very comfortable, very easy to wear, very easy to touch up. It is a sheer formula as well. So it's not like, it doesn't sit on your lips and it looks like you just have a layer. It really, really blends into your lips very well. The other one in that same collection is the color L'Auberge. And it's a little bit darker, a little bit more warmer of a pink. So while Ingenue is a bit more on the cool side, L'Auberge is darker of a pink and more on the warm tone side. So it's a very, I would say, muted peachy color. Both are absolutely beautiful and perfect for everyday wear. And it just looks really natural. I loved the lipsticks in this lineup so, so much. Like they did a fantastic job with the formulation of this. I know a lot of people said that they wanted these to be a little bit more out there with the Dark Blooms collection, but I thought that they were perfect. Like they kind of let the eyeshadow palette shine on their own while these were just like really beautiful neutral lip tone, lip colors. My only issue with these and like all of the Luxe lipstick components is that the the designs on them, like the golden design on the, the packaging wears away like almost immediately. Oh yeah, it's all on my fingers. The other Lux Liquid Lip that I absolutely love, and it's probably my favorite one from ColourPop. They just, they, it's just a beautiful color, just absolutely beautiful color, especially for the summertime, is the shade Air Kiss. And I know this one is a crossover from Judy's video because she talked about the same lipstick. It's so, so beautiful. It's like this muted coral color that's just perfect in every scenario. Like if you want something that's neutral, but still like has a bit of an oomph to it, but it's just like a subtle oomph, but it's, it just draws attention to your face and to your lips specifically in such a beautiful way. And the formula for this is a little bit drier than the formula for the other two that I showed, but it still blends into your lips and um, blurs perfectly. Like this formula, this specific lipstick, I love to wear as a blurred lip. It's just perfect. It's perfect in every way to wear blurred. It looks like if you put just the tiniest little bit in the middle of your lips and like blur it out, it literally looks like you've eaten a popsicle, like a red, red popsicle. And it's perfect. It's so beautiful. I love this lipstick so, so much. I'm gonna be wearing this all the time in the summer. So yes, Judy has fantastic taste for choosing this lipstick as well because it's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Moving into one from M Cosmetics. This is the Infinite Lip Cloud in the shade Magic Hour. If you like the kind of peachy coral color, but you don't want something as vibrant as Air Kiss, this is a great one to go with because it has that same level of like peachy coral, but it is more muted. It's a lot more muted. It's what I'm wearing right now. So it's not quite as strong. It's still a very everyday appropriate lip color, but for people who want something a little bit more peachy, a little bit more coral, a little bit more on like the, the orange side of pink, if that makes any sense at all. 
this formula, it goes on like the, and I've talked about this before, it goes on like the ColourPop matte, the, which one was it? The, the ones that came out for the Sailor Moon collection, the lip blur, whatever. The ultra blotted lip, it goes on and it feels when you're applying it like the ultra blotted lip does. So it's like a little bit dry, but once you actually have it on your lips, it feels like the Rare Beauty Lip Souffle where it's like very emollient. You can like rub your lips together and it moves around. Like it just feels very comfortable on the lips. After a while, it does dry down matte, especially if you like pat it on or like blot it on. Um, this formula is very beautiful when you blot it. It's also very beautiful when you wear it as a full color and it smells like cookies. Like it actually smells like cookies. This is probably my favorite smelling lip formula that I own. It smells so good. I will open it sometimes and take it out of my drawer just to smell it. It smells like cookies or like cookie dough or something to do with cookies. It smells so good. I could smell it forever. It smells so good. I think Judy had this one on her list as well, but I'm not surprised because it's a really fantastic lip color. I love it. Now moving into my three Rare Beauty lip souffles that I wear probably more often than all of my other lipsticks. And I have three. So one is the shade Courage, which is the lightest of the three that I chose. This one's also the coolest, like of all of the lipsticks that I showed today, this one's definitely the coolest of all of them, which is not a bad thing because like when I want to go for a very, very cool toned look, I'll usually go for this lip color. Like this is my go-to cool mauve lip. And it works with so many things. Like I love this lip color so, so much. It's just absolutely perfect. This is another formula that's really perfect when you blot it out or when you wear it as a full color. I love this so much. It's very comfortable on the lips. It's emollient, like it goes on soft and it stays soft. And one of the best things about this formula is that when you put it on and as it wears away throughout the rest of the day, the color stays on your lips. Like the color stays on your lips. It doesn't leave, like it, it it will pass the kiss test. Like after the first few layers have kind of worn away, that color is still there and it passes the kiss test. I have kissed my boyfriend with this lipstick on many a time and it passes. It passes the kiss test after you've worn away the first few soft layers. The second color, it's a little bit darker and more on the like brownie pink side is the shade Fearless. This one is probably color wise my favorite of all of them. It's a little bit darker, but it's, in the same vein as the, the Lisa Eldridge Velvet Muse, it's in that same sort of color family. But if you like Velvet Muse and you're looking for something similar and you don't wanna pay as much for Lisa Eldridge or if you think that that formula is just a bit too dry for you and you want something a little bit softer, a little bit more not drying, this is a great one to go with. The colors are very, very similar, but there's still enough of a difference that if you have both, it's worth getting both. But if you're looking for something in place of that one, I think that this one is a really good alternative. I just love this color so, so much. Like of all of them, it's probably my, my go-to. And the last one, you'll probably see it and go, Bianca, that's not a everyday appropriate color because it's orange. That's the shade Brave. Hear me out, hear me out. Yes, it's orange but it's a very wearable orange, like very wearable, like surprisingly wearable. Like you see the tube and you're like, wow, that's orange, but you put it on and it's like this beautiful muted terracotta color. That's just, it's perfect in every single way. Like I wanted to get the infinite lip cloud in the shade faded Clementine, but I wasn't sure about it for the longest time. And I looked at this and I was like, why would I want another orange lipstick when I have this one? Because it's just so perfect. I absolutely love this so much. Like if there was a perfect fall color, it is this one because it's not over the top. It's not like a bam orange in your face, but it's muted. It's this very soft terracotta color that's perfect in so many different scenarios and very, very wearable. Like it's so wearable. I was surprised at how wearable this was depending on what you're wearing. Like if you're wearing a more peachy or coral look on your eyes, this will look more coral. If you're wearing like orange on your eyes, this will look more orange. So it kind of changes color and like shifts to match whatever else you're wearing on your face. Like I put this on, you'll see it in the swatch. I put this on and it looked a little bit more coral than it did orange. But whenever I'm wearing orange makeup, this really looks orange, but it's just, it's a very versatile color. This one is one of the more versatile colors that I have in my whole lipstick collection. I love this so, so much. Other than Fearless, this is my other favorite color in the Rare Beauty lip souffles that I have. It's just, it's so beautiful and like, mm, 
I love orange. I don't know what happened to me that I love orange so much, but this is just a great color. It's definitely the more unique color of the three, like Courage and Fearless are probably the most dupable, but Brave, I don't know that I've seen another color like it. So that's it. Those are all of my like everyday lipsticks that I like to wear. I haven't included any of the tinted lip balms that I like to wear because those I categorize more in like the lip balm category than the lipstick category. So I've kind of just like left them out, which is fine. I wanted to focus more on like actual lipsticks today. So I hope you liked this video. Let me know if any of these lipsticks are also your favorite everyday go-to lipsticks. If you have other favorites that I didn't mention today, I'd love to know about them. Please let me know in the comments below what your favorites are. If you like this video, and you want to see more of my content, please give this video a like and hit the subscribe button down below. Once again, thank you to Judy for inspiring this video. I loved her video. If you want to go check out her channel and her video, I'll link them down below as well. Also, please take a moment and check out my social justice corner down in the description box. There's a whole lot of different causes that could use your help around the world right now. Thank you so much for spending your time with me today, and I will see you in the next video.